Hello and welcome to another Pokemon Oros Wi-Fi battle. Today I'm bringing you a opponent against Chinel, a match against Chantal, I believe that's pronounced. And this is a really good battle, and she is using a damn interesting team and some absolutely really incredible sets. Actually, sets you would just wouldn't see coming a mile away. Well, at least from my experience, anyway. So I lead off with my Zap, and she leads off with a low pony. I saw she only had X or Y, so I'm thinking, okay, at least it's not a mega low pony. Either way, I take a fake out here. And I wasn't sure I'd set, I was expecting a switch into something, so I went for the my hidden power dragon being the safest mover, she didn't have any fairy types. But she just end up using the switcheroo and gives me some black sludge and takes my choice specs. I'm like Well, okay. I am not too fond of black sludge being on my jolty on, but I suppose at least it's better than my walls. So I go to the Thunderbolt here, reckoning she's not gonna go for switch now, and that does kill thanks to this good stab attack. And in she cut brings in a in, in this gastrodon and this gast Rudon is an absolute beast, as you're about to see here. This was definitely the MVP of the match, in my opinion. So it hit me with the skull, and of course it burned me, so I'm like, oh great. Oh, pardon me. So my defensive wall is so her defensive wall is just gonna oh, not defensive, specially defensive, sorry. So I decide to switch into my Sylveon here, and she makes a good play and decides to switch into her Angron, so I'm like, okay, not liking this matchup. So I'm gonna have to switch here. And on the switch here, she does decide to go for the rock polish to try and build up some speed. And I know she has the air balloons, I'm thinking, okay, I can ice shard this, I can hopefully take one hit from this thing and get to work. So at least it's not Mega Angron, so I'm the only one who gets to use Mega Angron. But she does end up setting up her own, so her own stealth rocks, and I'm like, okay. So I decide to go for the earthquake here just to get some good damage on whatever wants to switch in. And of course it comes into this th this Gastrodon again, and I take it down to just uh, just under half health, but with lefties recovery, it's going to be about half health. So I decide to switch out here, because I am not wanting to hang around for this thing to scald me in the face. So I do end up switching into my pretty boy, after Stealth Rock's damage, and she just decides to go for the recover. So I'm like, this thing is going to be the bane of my life. <laughs> Goddamn Gastrodon just being out here, absolutely taking hit, just destroying my life. So after the lefties recovery, we're both out here just, you know, eating thing. It's uh, it's supper time out here, we don't want to mess around. So, you know, ding ding, it's to get the heal belt. We've, we've had enough supper, man. We've, we've had enough, we've had enough. I need to such to poison me. So, you know, just here and, you know, decide to poison me. Seriously, Gastron, what the hell, man? So, end up getting poisoned here. Seriously, and basically this thing is going to just keep on recovering, scowling, and I'm like, okay, I don't want to hang around for this anymore. I'm going to risk bringing in my Dragonite again. And I was wanting, I was thinking Earth Power because I heard these things can carry Earth Power, and I get scalded, and I'm like, please don't burn me, please don't burn me, ha, don't get burned. So this draws the Castle John, and it goes into the the Mist Storm here, the Big Angron, and I predicted that, so I go straight for the Superpower, bam, four times weakness. This thing is dead. Thank God for that. I don't think the crit really mattered because of the Choice Band Dragonite. The only thing I think that crit would have done is killed it twice. So go into the Espeon here and I'm like, uh, I didn't know what to switch or not, but it's going to be able to speed and what the heck I can save me Dragonite for later. But she does make the really good play and of course predicts the switch and goes straight for the side shot, which takes me down, down, down in health. And here I was honestly expecting to die. I was thinking, okay, I'm unfortunately going to have to sack up my Sylveon, but she does make the withdrawal something. And, okay, that, that's a strange, must have made a little bit of a strange play. And she goes into her own Sylveon, so we get to compare the shiny to the original one. And I decide to set up the Wish here just to try and start recovering. And the next turn, I believe I go for the Heal Bell, because I'm thinking, okay, this thing mightn't be able to kill me in one hit. So I go for the Heal Bell and ho hope to just not get hyper voiced. But with X and Y, I wasn't expecting this. But here's an interesting set Calm Mind. I'm like an Ooh, that, that that is not good for me. Set up these car mines and all. That is that is not good for me. So after the leftovers, I'm getting I am rather worried about this Sylveon here. And I'm thinking Hyper Voice isn't gonna do a damn thing to this thing. So I'm starting to switch and go to my Bazoo, so maybe I can scare this thing off. So after Stealth Rock damage, she just decided to go for another car mine and I'm thinking, if this is the spe like a specialist set, they could have Shadow Ball and the Shadow Ball would do a damn good chunk to me. So I decide to Mega Evolve into an absolute beast, which is Mega Angron, which is probably probably my favourite competitive Mega. And I go straight for the Thunder Wave just to try and shut this thing down. So after the Thunder Wave, but here she goes for the Baton Pass, I'm like, oh great. <laughs> and Baton Pass is into that Espeon, I'm thinking, I am going to get swept here so badly. So I get hit with the Shadow Ball, but I just managed to live that and I go for the Earthquake and I do about half of this and I'm thinking, oh god, this thing is going to be the bane of my life. So after the switch, I'm decide, okay, Alex, I'm going to have to come out here, and I'm happen to hope this special, this thing doesn't have a lot of special defense investment. 
So she goes for the Shadow Ball again, bringing me down to my sash. And I'm like, okay, you've Shadow Ball me, have one back. So hit this thing with the Shadow Ball, boom. Luckily it manages to kill, and it does end up fading. But I'm really surprised that thing outsped me. I honestly thought um, Alakazam was faster than this thing, and I am running timid, so I must admit I was rather surprised when it outsped me. But we're going, I go into Pretty Boy here to bring us up Gaston again just to war my life. And this thing goes tight to go for Scald. This doesn't, doesn't do too much to me, but I am a Sylveon and I am very, very bulky. And I do manage to get some nice lefties recovery. Go for the Hyper Voice here. Boom, just want to see what kind of damage I can do with this thing. As of course it decides to poison me again. So unfortunately I'm on a timer here and if, if we played Star Wars I think this thing was probably going to win. Because I have wish it has recovered, there's a lot more chance to to, you know, store its HP back. I mean, this Gastrogen is an awesome set. This is why I do, like, just wa random Wi-Fi Batman, because you do come across some interesting teams. And here, another interesting move. I go for the Hyper Voice, does a ton of damage, hits me with a Miracle. Absolutely destroys my poor little Sylveon. Completely wall, just boom, dead, killed. Absolute massacre. So I go into Dragonite here, I'm like, okay, what are we going to do here? Go for the Extreme Speed, because I just want to get some good damage on whatever I want to switch in. But she decides just to stay, hang around with this, um... Gastrodon. So here I'm hoping for some kind of paralysis to kick in, so I'm like, I'm just going to keep extreme speeding to do a good chunk of damage, but just reveal the rocky helmet, which luckily doesn't kill me, and she goes for the daring kiss. So that it's pretty much a recover it's pretty much a baton pass recovery set, which is an, it's the first kind of Sylveon like that, a versed Wi-Fi battle, and it's got it a pretty good set actually. So I go into my Nelly here, cop it's only daring kiss, I was thinking I can live this and with being paralyzed, I thought Earthquake might kill. But Liz with just a smidge enough health and does hit me with that daring kiss and takes me down to, takes me down in health. And here I'm thinking, okay, go for the earthquake again, let's do this. And I actually get it managed to get a kill here. So and then out comes Kung Fu fighting, which is the very appropriate name for a Mega Medichan. So this thing does evolve. I was expecting some kind of priority hit. So I was thinking I'm dead either way, so I do go for player rust just in case for some chance it missed, even though it couldn't. But it hits me with an ice punch and just absolutely destroys my life. And I do manage to switch into my Jolteon here. I'm thinking, well, I'm pretty much boned here because, you know, I was expecting some kind of priority. But luckily for me, this thing doesn't carry priority. So I am able to hit it with a Shadow Ball. I'm not sure if that crit mattered. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But either way... I might just manage to win that game. Either way, great battle, Chantel, I believe your know, name's pronounced. We actually had a good chat at the end of this bat battle, and she does run an interesting team, but it was a very nice team to verse, and she said she doesn't think she's the best battler. I honestly think, and I'm pretty sure people watching this will agree, you were a good battle, in fact. You're probably better than me in that fact. I was just using a lot of the overused stuff, so if we were in the same kind of tier thing, we probably would have, um, you might have won. But anyway, thank you for tuning into this match today. Really good battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I will see you later.